Hello guys, uh, welcome to this quick update video for House of Geeks. Um, first off, I'd like to thank everybody that has uh, liked and subscribed to the, the channel. Uh, I think we're nearly up to 100 subscribers now. I think, we're, I think last time I checked we were 98, 99, something like that. So, um, you know, big shout out for you guys, really. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, it wouldn't give me the drive to, you know, put all these, put the videos out. You know, I'm taking a lot of time out of my, uh, you know, personal life, really, you know, family time and things like that. Uh, but you know that the hobby is something I I'm really passionate about. It's you know it's not my job. Um, it's just something that I really really have enjoyed doing for the past 22 years now. Um, you know if I can help anybody into the hobby or if I can give anyone ideas or something like that, um, you know I will happily you know I will, I will happily help them. Um, like I say, it's something I've been passionate about now for you know tw well 22 near, must be going up to 23 years now. Um, so a big, big, big thank you for everybody that has liked and subscribed to the channel. You know, it really, it really does. You know, it does mean a lot. Um, so yeah, so th uh, thanks for that. Uh, right, it's things I've been working on. Um, obviously, I've been working on my Space Marines. You've, you've obviously seen a, um, you know, uh, what was it? A painting tutorial of how I paint my uh, Space Marines. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed painting it. It was a bit fiddly. It was the first ever painting. Uh, painting tutorial I did with uh, models and stuff, so you know that was that was quite good fun. Um, there will be uh, more painting tutorials uh, eventually, but that's something I'll talk about later. Uh, things I also I've been working on. I've been working on uh, some scenery, some scattered terrain, some scat scenery. Um, you know, just like barrels, boxes, crates, uh, smoke. You know, things like that that I can put around the board just just to make it a bit more cinematic because that's that's kind of the way that I want to go with my videos really. Um, uh, I know a lot of people do film, you know, film home games and you know rolling dice and things like that, um, which you know, which is all well and good. But I, I mean, I like to go. I, like, I really do enjoy the whole uh, cinematic feel to games. Um, you know, where the you talk about uh, what's happened that turn. There has been some videos of rolling dice, but only on like the most important bits, and then it cuts into you know the cinematic shots where obviously you've got uh, you know both commanders fighting each other you've got a, a monstrous creature charging into a unit of guardsmen and the guards are managed to actually fight it off uh, you know things like that. i really like this cinematic look to uh, to the games and stuff uh, so that's 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 the way i'm you know that's the way, the way that i uh, i want to go with the videos um other things i've been working on um i have uh, bought and finished um basically finished buying my uh, eldar army um so i'm now just planning um you know how I'm going to paint that. What I'm going to start first. What I'm going to, you know, like a timeline kind of thing. I always like to to plan so I don't get bogged down with too much, uh, you know, too much stuff. You know, too many models. Uh, so I like to build a model and then paint it. So I'm not bogged down with so many models that are built and they're all sat there on my shelf looking at me, basically telling me, you know, when the hell are you going to paint me? And I'm it kind of it's a bit disheartening really. So I like just to build it, paint it, and then move it to one side. And then when it's painted, I can look at it and go. Yeah, that, that looks cool. I'm quite you know enthusiastic about painting some more. Uh, the other things I've been up to as well is uh, the PC as uh, current. Well, it did go a bit uh, tits up. Uh, I don't know what was up with it. There was but must have been a couple of gremlins inside crapping in the motherboard. Um, so I had to send that away to be fixed. Um, luckily, I didn't lose anything. I didn't lose any uh, pictures or any um, videos or anything like that. Um, so it just cost me. Uh, it cost me. It cost me enough anyway. Let's go. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, also, I've been um, away on holiday as well. Uh, it was my first family holiday, obviously after having you know, my, my kids. So um, me and my wife, my kids, uh, we all went away on holiday. Went to Finland for uh, two weeks. Uh, went snowboarding, uh, which was you know really really nice. Uh, I got to actually teach my uh, eldest son how to uh, how to snowboard. Uh, so you know, it was, it was a really good fun, you know, real nice uh, change of pace. So. I'd, um, I think the only thing geek-wise I took with me was the um, Dark Eldar trilogy. So um, of uh, reading the uh, Path of the Renegade, I think at the minute. Then after that is the Path of the Incubi. Uh, so yeah, so uh, enjoying reading that. Um, so yeah, so that is it for uh, what I got up to. Uh, what I've got planned is obviously you know to finish the Eldar, finish the Marines, finish the scatter scenery. Um, that shouldn't the Marines and the scatter scenery sh shouldn't be taken too long. Um, I'm also working on a long time project. It's something that I, I won't go into a lot of detail about now, um, but it's something that I've had uh, been 
I've had in my mind really for quite some time and it's really nice to actually get it get the ball rolling on that um, also I've got planned a uh, competition <coughs> excuse me yeah competition uh, probably be, be around the 500 subscribers mark um, for the simple fact that obviously the more subscribers I've got you know the, the, the better chances of you know of, of better prizes things like that um, it'll probably be a case of you will get one entry per like of a video or per and, or, and per comment so if you've commented on 20 of my videos and you've liked another 20 videos you know that'll be 40 entries um, it'll all be done randomly so I'll just you know put people's names down and you'll get one entry per like and comment um, and then I'll just randomize it and the winner will get a set prize I've not quite dis you know a bit undecided on prizes at the minute uh, but because the you know the hobby is so diverse there's so many different armies so many different models uh, so many different combinations of stuff that you would like rather than just say you will win a I don't know a wraith lord um, you know that only so many people that collect Eldar will you know enter kind of thing so what I intend on doing is giving you a set amount of uh, vouchers or something like that um, so you can either um, tell me what you would like and I will buy it for you and I will send it you free of charge um, so that'll probably be the way it goes um, just for the fact that like I say 40k is so diverse there's so many different armies rather than just limit it to one one set model or one set prize um, everybody has a choice of possibly winning whatever they want um, I'm not quite worked out how much it's going to be yet um, it just depends on um, you know, situations it you know at home really um, so other things I've got planned I think that's about it really um, so things that I would like to do obviously I'd really like to get the Eldar finished um, you know it's always nice to get uh, armies finished but the other things I'd like to get you guys uh, to comment and you know comment about and to, to write to me about and tell me your ideas is I'd like to plan either one of three armies and I'd like you guys to, to tell me which one's your favourite and why um, so one of them would be a Tyranid army and I'd like to theme it around the Xenomorphs from Aliens um, so I'd have to convert obviously every single model uh, which doesn't bother me you know it's something I, you know, it's part of the hobby that I really do enjoy um, so I'd have like alien queens, warriors, drones, um, flying aliens, and, yeah, things like that. Basically, f aliens from like the comics, more so the comics than the actual film, because in the film you only see a, you know, a small variety of aliens in the in the film. So that'd be really nice, and I could do some really nice themed uh, terrain. Like uh, I could do some really nice internal terrain, so uh, actual inside ships and inside uh, bunkers and things like that. Um, it's some terrain that I have got planned. Um, I've got planned, you know, written down and done some really nice sketches for them. Um, so it's, that's something I'd really like to do. Uh, another army is Imperial Guard. It's an army that I've never really looked at and gone, yeah, I'd really like to do that army. But um, you have to be really passionate about the Aliens films. It's, you know, I mean, I'm I'm nearly 32 now and it, the Aliens films are something I've grown up with. Um, the film Alien and Aliens, you know, probably be, probably my top favourite films of all time. So the Imperial Guard, I like to do them as uh, colonial marines. Basically going to be a kit bash of uh, Kachan jungle fighters and uh, Cadians. Um, I've done some really good ideas of how to do the weapons and how to do the vehicles as well. Um, so I'd really like to do a, uh, you know, a colonial marine army as well. And the final army I'd like to, you know, really like to do would be a... Uh, a feudal orc army and I know a lot of people are going feudal orcs what the hell um, rather than do a feral orc army where they're all like in the cave you know stone age and rather doing a space orc army where you know everyone knows who orc, you know, space orcs are um, feudal orcs would be around the like the middle age period so like around the time of like knights and um, you know big big bulky units of infantry spears swords you know, sword and shield kind of thing um, the, it's obviously quite similar to orcs in fantasy at the minute, uh, but I am really I, I've been quite passionate about that um, you know that time that time in history uh, f you know for for quite a while now, <clears throat> and there are feudal planets in the forty k universe. There are you know stone age planets in the forty k. You know there's there's so so much variety I could do for orcs, and uh, the feudal orc system is something that I'd really be passionate about doing. Um, 
some of you might be thinking that you know how the hell would feudal orcs move from planet to planet um, I actually spoke to Luke Barker about it last time I went, went down to play him uh, which would be be a while ago now um, and he gave me a, an awesome awesome idea of how they would be able to move from planet to planet um, so that's something that I, I've I asked him basically if I could use the idea and you know he's he was you know a really nice lad sound guy uh, and he said yeah of course run with it you know I hope it you know he really hopes it works <coughs> so that arm would be like um, you know for battle wagons it'd be really big chariots you know bulky chariots with um, you know big wooden side panels uh, wooden overhead almost trucks made of completely of wood pulled by you know a number of boar um, killer cans with like that would be like trolls or ogres covered in uh, covered in armor uh, which would be quite cool uh, big siege towers which could be a gorkon or pushed by giants you know, things like that really just just to change it up a bit really um, you know I'm really passionate about converting and and um, having my own ideas into into armies because uh, it just gives me that extra drive to to uh, to get stuff done really um i think that would be it really so that's uh, so thanks again for people subscribing and uh, obviously you know share the videos you know get the videos out there the, the quicker we can get the subscriptions up the quicker we can start doing uh, competitions and stuff um <clears throat> I'm, you know, I would like to do more than just one competition. Maybe every, you know, maybe one at five hundred, one at a thousand, one at two thousand. You know, later that's obviously way into the future. Uh, but you know, what, competitions are something I, w I would like to keep doing because it keeps people interested in in the hobby and you know, obviously in the you know in the YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching, and I shall speak to you guys next time. Toodaloo.